Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we created this super fresh, super fruity looking, summer appropriate eye look. My inspiration behind this week's video is my perfect summer night out glam. I kept the skin super hydrated and super fresh, super dewy, glowing, bronzed, very appropriate for summer. We are going to be working with a couple new makeup products in today's video that I'm really excited to share with you guys. If you would like to find out how to create this look all by yourself and want to find out about all the products that I use to achieve today's look, then just stay tuned. I've already gone ahead and dotted a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match foundation all over the skin. This is in the shade N3. And then I'm going to do a little cocktail mixture. And I'm going to squeeze just one little baby pump of the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation on my little Morphe sponge. And we're just going to begin blending our foundation all over the skin. I did already go ahead and apply my eyebrows. I am going to go ahead and list below all of the products that I use on my face. So if you're curious as to what I use to achieve these brows, then don't forget to just check out that description box. On to concealer. This is my brand new little bottle of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm using the shade Medium 22 today because we are going to go for a little bit of a bronzer look. Usually my go-to shade for this specific concealer is Medium 20. But we're just going to switch it up a little bit today. I like to take this a little bit down the nose just for a little bit of extra coverage in this area as well as the chin. I'm super excited about this concealer because it's brand new and I'm loving new products. It's always so exciting when you open a brand new makeup. We're just gonna dab, 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 dab. I also like to take this concealer along the eyelid because this is gonna prep us for our eyeshadows that we're about to go in with. I think I might actually like this shade a little bit better than the medium 20. It looks so good. Today I really want to do a little bit of liquid contouring or cream contouring I guess. I'm trying to open this. This is a brand new LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. I love this stuff so much, you guys. I ran out of an entire tube of this, which if you've ever owned this concealer, you know that it's pretty hard to run out of it. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of that into the tip, and we're going to apply it in all the areas that I want to contour slash bronze. And I do like to work on one side of the face at a time because I find that this specific concealer dries down fairly quickly and I don't want to have any like blotchy areas. Picking up that same Morphe sponge, I'm going to spritz this with a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus just to get some added moisture into the sponge as this does help blend the product a little bit better. I know this concealer does look a little bit intimidating at first because it is such a deep color on such fair skin but with a little bit of blending and a little bit of time you guys will see that it blends out very very beautifully it just ends up creating this very gorgeous shadow effect that I personally love when it comes to my makeup and this is also going to prepare us for when we go in with our powder bronzers on top now I'm going to go ahead and just do the same exact thing on the other side. When I want to be super duper extra bronze, I will just complete this step before I go in with my powder bronzers just to add that extra oomph that I'm looking for. To set and lock in place all of our liquid and cream skin products, I'm picking up some of my Too Faced Born This Way Loose Ethereal Setting Powder. I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe brush here. This is the M438 Tapered Blending. And I'll just get some of that on the bristles and 
begin locking in place all of our concealers. Focusing a little bit of this on the forehead area as well and in between the brows just because I do have a little bit of fine lines in these areas and I want to prevent any of those cream front <laughs> oh my god I can't talk prevent any of those cream products from settling into those little fine lines to bronze the skin we're going in with my new favorite bronzer this one here is by NARS cosmetics and this is their bronzer in the shade casino I'll just get a little bit of that on my brush. Basically in all the areas where we applied our cream contour, I'm just going to apply this bronzer directly on top. And then I will go ahead and pick up a jumbo fluffy blending brush, something like this. Get some of that bronzer on the bristles and begin to create that false shadow effect on the nose area. I like to take this all the way up into the contours of the eye because I just really love the way that this transforms the face. Now that we're all set with our base makeup, we can move on to eyes. And I'm so excited for this portion of today's look because we're going to be working with two brand new eyeshadow palettes that I've never before used. The first one here is the Violet Voss Essentials Eyeshadow Palette. She looks like these. And the second palette that I have here is called Hello Charmers. And this is by Boxy Charm. And this one looks like this. I know she's obviously been played with a little bit. I have just kind of, you know, shoved my fingers in there and kind of just, as you can see, I was having a little bit of fun with these colors. Just trying to figure out what I wanted to do today, which I think for today's look, I want to keep it super peachy, um, super summery and super fun and light and bright. But I also want to do a spotlight effect with a little bit of shimmer on the lid. So... Let's get started. So first I'm going to pick up the BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette along with my Sigma E35 blending brush. And I want to choose this shade right here. This is called Cup of Joe. And we're just going to begin blending this shade into the transition area just to prepare us for some of the other more colorful shades that we're going to be going in with in just a minute. And then picking up my Luxie 249 brush, I'm going to go back into the palette and I want to choose this shade here called Unboxing. We're going to focus the shade just on the very outer corner. I'm just working in layers to build up that nice peachy effect that I'm looking for. These Luxie brushes are so soft. It feels really good on the skin. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a different brush. This is the Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to dip it right back into that same shade that we just used called Unboxing. And I want to target this on the very inner corner of the eyelid. Keeping the very center portion of the eyelid untouched. Same thing on the other side. I'm getting a little bit of that ColourPop concealer that we use to go underneath our eyes to cover up our dark circles and I'm just packing some of that concealer into my concealer brush. What I want to do is target this concealer just in the center of today's eye look. I'm not bringing this cut crease all the way to the inner corner of the eye because I still want to keep the integrity of that nice peachy dusty color. But this concealer is going to prepare us for the shimmer eyeshadows that I want to go in with. And this is just really going to help everything to pop and look that much more bold. Dipping into another eyeshadow palette here really quickly before my concealer starts to crease. This is the Morphe Brushes X Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. I only want to use one color out of this palette today, which is going to be this one up here called Lolly. 
I'll just get that all over my finger. I'm just going to press this over that concealer that we just laid down. This is like that perfect peachy gold summer eyeshadow that I'm looking for. It's just perfect for today's look. You don't need to purchase this palette for one specific color, but since I have it, we're just going to put it to use. Going back into the BoxyCharm palette, I'm going to pick up that shade Unboxing once again. And we're just going to sort of redefine that inner and outer corner and also just erase the density of the concealer lines just so everything looks super blended and seamless. And this is just really going to bring your spotlight effect eye together. Now going into the Violet Voss palette that I showed you guys a little bit earlier, I just want to choose this one shade here called Cream. And very, very lightly, I just want to pop that right on the center. Just very, very lightly because I don't want to take away from that shade Lolly that we applied earlier from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. But this is just going to give us that very subtle added oomph to really just redefine that spotlight effect. And then getting a little bit more of that shade unboxing on my Luxie brush, we are just going to sort of just buff this all over the lower lash line. Now to pop our brow highlight in place, I'm just choosing this white shade here called Boxy just to bring this area forward a little bit and add some light. I feel like I'm looking like a nice summer fruit. Really quick with some of my black eyeliner from NYX, I'm just going to run this along the upper and lower waterline of the eye. picking up this eyeliner here from Benefit Cosmetics. This is the roller liner in the shade black. I just want to draw on some dramatic fancy wings. <laughs> blacken and lengthen the lashes. I'm just going in with a little bit of my NARS Climax Mascara. that we're going to be applying for today's look. They are by a brand called Ilure in the shade Opulent, my all-time favorite everyday lash. <music> going with a little bit of a pinky shade. I've been kind of trying to go outside of my usual box of just nude, dark nude, medium nude, super light nude, 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 nude. So let's do something pink. I'm going to start with this lip liner here. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this pinky nude lipstick. This is by MAC Cosmetics in the shade Blankety. I haven't worn this color in such a long time, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I usually kind of try to stay away from pink lipstick because I never thought it was too, 
I don't know, my vibe, but it looks cute. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of my Becca Opal highlight, and we're going to pop those cheekbones. A little across the tip of the nose. I like to take my highlight just above the brow. And being careful not to make our lipstick look too shimmery, I'm gonna hit the Cupid's bow. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna top off today's look with a little bit of my All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. Feels so good. All right, this concludes today's perfect summer glam. This is super peachy and fruity. It kind of reminds me of like a watermelon slushy. The skin is so hydrated and glowing. It's perfect for summer. I really hope that you guys like this look and that you enjoyed spending some time with me in today's video. I can't wait to see you in next week's upload. Mwah! Bye, guys.